As you add multiple classes to Edge Elastic, it's important that you know how to manage these classes and manage the students that are on those rosters. To do so, we'll go to the Manage Class tab at the bottom left. From Manage Class, I now see my list of classes. My first class is properly marked. It's an Algebra 2 Period 2 Kindle class, and it has the correct grade and subject. My next class here has incorrect information. It says other grades and other subjects. That information will affect my reports and will affect if an admin can find my class. To change that information, I need to click on the class, click on the three dots at the top right, and then edit class. From here, I'm able to change my grade levels. I'll go ahead and create it as a ninth and 10th grade class, and this is for mathematics. I'll also choose my standard set. Because I've chosen two different grade levels, it might be easier for my admin to assign assessments to my class if I chose a tag. In this case, I'll call it Algebra 2, like my first class that I created. Now, that information shows up here, and I can also find that information back on the Manage Class tab with the correct information. When I originally created my science class, this made sense. But now that I have multiple classes, I need to go in and change the name. So I'll do the same thing. I'll click on the class, three dots, and edit class. Now I will call this science period five. When I update that class, the name has changed. And back on the manage class tab, that name has also changed. To manage some of the information within the class, including the students, I just need to click on that class. From here, I can choose to manage my students by clicking on the box to the left of the student and clicking on the actions button. The Actions button will give me several options, and some of these options might not be available to you if you're considered a free user. At this point, I can choose to enable text-to-speech, remove the student from the class, reset their password, edit the student, and even add the student to a group. When I edit the student, I'm able to change the student's name and password, as well as configure additional details, like an SIS ID, if they're an English language learner, and even put in their parent and guardian email for notifications. Some additional options I have for this class is resyncing my class to Google Classroom, which is a necessary step anytime you have roster changes on Google Classroom. I also have the ability to add a co-teacher if I want another teacher to be able to access my roster for grading or assigning purposes. Use the three dots we used for editing the class earlier if you need to archive the class or view the assignments that were given to that particular class. The last thing here is you now have the ability to proxy in as a student to see what the student sees. 